Good morning, welcome to another week. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we want to thank you because you have set before us a table, a table of your provision, a table of your blessings, a table of your abundance, a table of fat things, and we receive all for the journey of this week. And this week, there shall be amazing testimonies, all to your glory, in Jesus' name, amen. Guess what, you know the Bible tells us Isaiah chapter 43 verse 21 says, These people have I formed for myself, they shall show forth my praise. This week, you will show forth this praise. We will show forth the praise of the Lord. Meaning, what men will see from us and of us will give praises unto the Lord. So, the power of the blood is our prayer focus this morning for the journey of this week. The power of the blood. And my prayer is the voice of the blood will speak over your life every single day of this week in the name of Jesus. Uh, open your Bibles, please, to Genesis chapter 9, from verse 4 to 5. That's the first reading. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof. Notice. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall you not eat. So, flesh with the life thereof, and that life is the blood. So, the blood of the flesh is the life of the flesh. So, but flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall you not eat. Meaning, Blood is sacred, and blood is synonymous with life. And surely, your blood of your lives, do you see that? Blood of your life. So, life and blood are synonymous. And surely, your blood of your lives will I require at the hand of every beast, will I require it, and at the hand of man. At the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life of man. That is why, even uh, talking generally as humans, it is a criminal offense for a man to take another man's life because blood is sacred, because blood is life. Exodus chapter 12 from verse 5 to 7. So we've established that blood is sacred. Now, Exodus 12, 5 to 7. Your lamb shall be without blemish. This was talking about the Passover lamb on the night of the Passover when God wanted to separate and deliver his people from the rest of Egypt. Your lamb shall be without blemish. And this was talking about Christ, a male of the first year. You shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats and you shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. How do you kill a lamb or an animal? By shedding the blood. So they were to shed the blood to kill it. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it. They were to eat the animal. That is, uh, receive the animal as a sacrifice for them and receive strength and the person and the identity of that animal, in this case Christ in the New Testament. But the blood was to be a covering. On their upper door post, on their two side posts, they were to smear the blood. And they were to be under that covering, so to speak, so that when destruction finally came, they will be preserved. This week, because of the covenant of the blood, we shall be preserved. Not only that, 1 Peter chapter 1, 18 to 19. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver and gold from your vain conduct or conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ. Let me read it this way. For as much as you know that you were redeemed with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. So you see that in the New Testament, we have been redeemed with the blood of a lamb. What happened on the night of the Passover in Egypt was a typology of what God had in mind for humanity in future. Now the real Passover lamb, Jesus Christ, has been slain, his blood shed, and his blood has redeemed us unto himself. You know, uh, and that lamb is without blemish and without spot. Now, blood connotes life. Blood connotes peace. Blood is the symbol of the covenant. So covenants were sealed in those days with the blood. Now, blood involves the power and the glory of God. 
So with this at the back of our minds, let's begin to pray. Can we just give thanks unto the Lord for the blood of Jesus that was shed for us on the cross? Thank you, Father, for the blood of Jesus that was shed for me on the cross. Uh, thank you for the peace that I have in the blood. Can you give thanks to the Lord for the peace that you enjoy because of the blood? For the victory that you enjoy because of the blood? For your identity now through the blood? Lord, I want to thank you for the peace that I enjoy because of the blood of Jesus. I want to thank you for the identity that I have in you through the blood. I want to thank you because the blood is the symbol of my covenant with you. I'm in a covenant relationship with you and that covenant is sealed by the blood. And I give thanks to you because today I am blood bought, I'm blood washed, I'm blood sealed and I am blood perfected. Thank you for the blood in the name of Jesus. Now the blood of Jesus is sinless, spotless, without blemish. Can you give thanks unto the Lord because you are a product of that sinless, spotless, blemishless blood. I want to thank you Lord because I'm a product of the blood, the blood that is without offense, the blood that is spotless, that is sinless, the blood that is pure and powerful, the blood that is potent and full of the life of God. Thank you Lord in the name of Jesus. Can you plead the blood of Jesus upon your life? Plead the blood of Jesus upon every member of your household. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my life. I plead the blood of Jesus upon every member of my house my spouse, my wife, my children, my sons, my daughters, my grandchildren. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus upon every member of our church, of our local assembly. I plead the blood of Jesus upon the life of everyone praying on this broadcast at this time. The blood of the Lamb, the blood of Christ, the blood of Jesus. In the blood of the animal is the life thereof. Now in the blood of Jesus is the life of Christ. Can you, can you commit yourself afresh to the life of God, to the life of God. Scriptures say it is God that walketh in us but to will and to do of his good pleasure. Pray for yourself this week that the life of God alone works in you this week to do and to will of the good pleasure of the Father. So your life is at work in me, I acknowledge. Yea, working in me that which is your good pleasure, to do and to will your good pleasure even this week. Your life works in me. Your life breathes through me. Lord Jesus, your life through your blood speaks through me this week in the name of Jesus. Can we receive the breath of the Holy Spirit afresh for the journey of this week? I receive the breath of the Holy Spirit, the breath of life, the inspiration of life by the blood of a lamb for all that I shall be saying, for all that I shall be thinking, for all that I shall be doing, for the places I shall be going. Even this week in the name of Jesus, the life of God, the blood of Christ finds expression in me and through me this week in the name of Jesus. Come against every every machination of the devil, every imagination of darkness. Uh, neutralize them by the blood of Jesus concerning you. Every imagination of darkness, every machination of wickedness uh, is destroyed uh, concerning me by the blood. Uh, even this week in the name of Jesus, pray for members of your household and stand uh, as an agent of deliverance concerning them through the blood. I rebuke uh, every walk of the devil concerning my wife, concerning my children, concerning my grandchildren, concerning members of our assembly, members of my family, my extended family, Lord, members of our assembly, people praying on this broadcast, loved ones, wherever they are, every plan of the devil, every agenda of hell is destroyed, defeated, overturned by the power of the blood. In the name of Jesus, through the blood we have victory. I enforce the victory of Calvary. Yea, over every single life praying together with me, on the broadcast this morning, I enforce the victory of Calvary. We enforce the victory of Calvary. We walk in victory in the name of Jesus. We walk in victory. Come against every shut door. Command every shut door to open by the power of the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus against every shut door, every door of help, every door of promotion, every door of favor, every door of increase, every door of righteousness that the devil appears to have shut. I command every such door open in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood against every shut door. I plead the blood against every shut door in the name of Jesus. 
command uh, the prospects of the people of God to wake up to manifest. Uh, I command prospects uh, of your people, every prospect uh, to find expression, to come alive. Every dead dream, every dead hope, uh, come alive uh, in the name of Jesus. Every dead dream, every dead hope, uh, you come alive uh, by virtue of the blood in the name of Jesus. Uh, decree complete healings and restoration of health on account of the blood wherever it appears you are weak wherever it appears you you are having a, a health challenge claim victory through the blood claim victory through the blood the physical body requires free circulation of blood for complete health trust the lord for the blood spiritually even to move in and to do the work of healing for our men our women our boys our girls our loved ones wherever they are by the power of the blood i decree healing in the name of Jesus by the power of the blood I decree restoration in the name of Jesus by the power of the blood I command the people of God to remember for good where it matters this week thank you father it's a week of a turnaround it's a week of a victory of the blood in Jesus mighty name we pray amen